So all this talk about heating snap, what's so really bad about snap itself? That's going to be the big question, of course. You're probably wondering yourself, what is so bad about Snapchat and should you use it? So Snapchat, you just press on snap and you see this menu. It comes up just like this. And people are complaining that this is so complicated, hard to use, what's all this with design and everything, but it is simple. First of all, you press on this and you take a picture. That is as simple as it is. Unfortunately, there was nothing to take a picture of, so you have to take this out. Here is something. Take a picture. That's it. Now, if you press and hold it, you're actually filming with Snap. And you get your voice recorded as well. As long as you keep on pressing on it, it's going to keep on filming. So that's the easy thing. Now you can flip the camera by pressing this button and it's going to go and show you. And then all you have to do is press right here. And what happens when you press right here, you get these lenses that come up. Now you have to have an actual human face for this to work. N and it has music too. All kinds of different interfaces and lenses are available over here. But still, you need to have a face for this to really work. So this is a camera company. Why is this a camera company? Because it's actually a filter company. And this camera company, the genius behind it is that it is available anywhere not only here it's available on anyone's phone it transform your normal camera into a fancy camera with argument reality now it's not the future yet but in the future this is going to be big look at this you can put yourself right on this and you can walk with it this one of the lenses. He is actually walking. Right there. You can just move him around. Interesting, right? So you can you can spend hours just playing with the different kind of filters. There's so many of them too. Here is me again. You can do stuff with it. I can play with it. And jump. Look, this is cool. Come on, come on, come on. Yep. Oh. Look at this. Okay. So, those are some of the filters right here. Find a face right there. And so on. Now, the cool thing is if you swipe it to the other side, they have the games. So by moving your face, you're actually going about and playing these games. You're moving the head and it's moving. And you open your mouth and you start to play the game. There's a bunch of different games you can play here. And here it is, another one. And so on. And of course, you can't see me. That's why this is not really working that well. Oops. Here we go. So the games over there are pretty cool. There's a lot of cool things you can do here as features. But now we're going to go and look at other things. First of all, friends. You can have a bunch of different friends here. If they have a story, just press on them and you can see them right here. And you can snap with them, you can chat with them, you can call them, and you can video them as well. Okay. Get out of there. So if they have a story, it just shows over here in the friends section. That's the stories right there. So if there is any stories, it shows up as well. Chats. Or you go to chats 
and you can chat with anyone. A few more interesting snap tips right here is this. When you press on this once, it's going to give you the night mode of snap. Here we go, night mode is on and it looks much better with night mode. And press on again, it takes it off. The camera feature is right here where you can see yourself or you can see the stuff in front of you, which is going to be just this right there, the stickers. A few other things is you can press on yourself, which is right here, the icon, and you can change how it actually looks like. So pressing on that button right there, you can change your name, your username, your day of both, mobile number, email, and so on, snap codes, lens, and filters. And by pressing lens on filters, you can create your own lenses and filters. Press on get started and create your own filter or your own lens. Let's press on create your own lens right here. And we can choose the occasion we want, which is going to be Bulls Day. It's going to load it up, open your mouth, and we can choose what kind of lens and filters we want to create. So go back, or we can do the filter, the same exact thing here. Just choose the game day right here. Here we go. Date night. And this is the filter that we can use. And here is one we can use for this right there. Press on X right there, it gets out. Here we go. And let's get out of this one. So there is additional information and services, including who can contact me, which is my friends, view my story, everyone. See, my location is only me. And it is in ghost mode right now. So only my friends can see my location. If I turn off ghost mode, I can actually get more people to see my location. I like the ghost mode on until turn off right there. There is other things you can do here as well. A lot of interesting snap cache. Interesting. Agree. And you can add snap cache to this and you can make purchases with that as well. Let's go in here. And I just saw something very interesting when I was on it. Spectacles. There we go. Spectacles. And I can pair the spectacles right to my snapchat let's get out of here so those are the options you can have trophies i unlocked three different trophies right now you can unlock a lot more than three of them if you want to another option for you is bijomi press on bijomi right here you can change your outfit let's press on change the outfit right here we can change how it actually looks like. So if I want to look different, I can change whatever I'm wearing. And there's a lot of choices for me to pick from. Choose a selfie. Right there. That's going to be my selfie. Press on done. And my selfie actually changes it. And then change my outfit and it might be Jomi. I go in here and I go to be jummies and I can download this which I just did so this way I can create whatever be jummy I want if I don't like one that I have right now I can get a better one go back to snapchat right there I can add more friends by pressing on the add friends I see some other people who are my buddies and I can just press on add I can add my contacts, lots of people here. I can add them all as well. I can add a snap code if I have one. I don't have a snap code. By adding a snap code, you can go and follow people who are famous or anything else like that. So now you can create a story in here by pressing on create my story. Now when you press on this feature right here, you go to the discover section. In the discover section, you get this cool feature 
which lets you discover different people in here. Press on search and it goes straight to the map and it shows you where you're located. And the map itself, discover. And by zooming out of the map, you can see people who are snapping in different places. This is one of the coolest features of this. So you go into different locations, New York City, and so on. And you see this? Now it loaded up the heat map. With the heat map, you can see where all the heat is going on. I know there's something going on right here. Just press on this and you're going to get instant feed from this location. So once you're in here, you can go to a different location. Here is a company. And you can go in here and see what else is close by as well. Nearby places. Let's go to the Duncan shop right here. Greenwich Village. Random Snap. Here is another one. Just move down if you want to get out of the feed. Press on this. Sometimes on the side you might be able to see more feeds as well. Here's another one. Some of those feeds have extra feeds to them on the side and you can see it. So let's see. Interesting. It's very interesting what things you're going to be seeing from different locations. Some of the feeds are longer than others. Okay, I don't want to be in that one. Here's another one. And this one was actually interesting. Oops. One more. Oops. Yeah, you just don't know what you're hitting here. Now, that's interesting. I'd be watching that one. The view of New York City from someone's house. And it keeps going to different feeds in here. Just view activities, view people doing stuff, and here is a big one, Times Square. And you press on this, and you can send this to any of your buddies. A few more cool features of Snap is the Discover section. In the Discover section, you can subscribe to different people and watch their stories right here, such as National Geographic. Press on that, you can watch National Geographic, like a small snap of something. And I can see all my favorite people that I follow and some just random people that are popping up over here as well. Press on that one. Press right here. If you want to add some of them up. All day today, everywhere I go, in honor of Bobby. All right. Another one. Get out of here. Lots of choices for you. And of course, subscriptions. That's the cool part. So you can subscribe to many different snaps here. And just come up with whatever you want to come up with and there's going to be a few choices for you to pick from hmm, I want to go oh man Let's see if anyone shows up here and who else here is some locals that I can go and view what they actually are doing If I want to discover, I can discover something else here as well. So let's go and search for whoever I want to discover. If you don't have anybody. So if you know of anyone famous such as Tiesto, famous DJ, person search. And here we go. You can subscribe to his DJ has to feed, DJ Khaled right there, and subscribe to him as well.
and you can find other things that are related too. So this is pretty much it. This gives you an overview of some cool and interesting features of Snapchat. If you do enjoy this video, please go and add me up on YouTube. See you in another video.